Hey all, John Williams here, security researcher at Bishop Fox. Now you may be concerned about CVE 2025-24813, a remote code execution chain affecting Apache Tomcat. There's a lot of information swirling around the internet on this. Some of it's conflicting, so we wanted to take the opportunity to clarify what we know about this vulnerability. The bottom line is, most of you probably aren't affected. So first off, patches are available, so upgrade Tomcat immediately if you can. If you're not running a vulnerable version, then you're not affected. That said, the attack looks like this. First, the attacker sends a put request that causes a temporary session file containing a serialized payload to be created on the server. Second, the server at some point will read that session file, causing the payload to be deserialized and execute arbitrary code. Instead of waiting, the attacker can send a get request with a targeted session cookie and trigger the RCE on demand. Now here's what you need to understand about these two steps in the attack. They both require specific configuration settings. For the arbitrary file write, two settings are required. First, the default Tomcat servlet must enable file writing. Now this is disabled by default, so if you didn't set read-only to false in your default servlet, you're not vulnerable. Second, a partial put operation must be supported. Now this is enabled by default, but if you disabled it, again, you're not vulnerable. Now for the second part of the attack, the deserialization, two additional conditions must be met. First, file-based session storage must be enabled without specifying a custom location. This isn't the default config, so if you haven't set up your app this way, you're not vulnerable. And second, for the deserialization to be leveraged into remote code execution, you must have a Java library in your app that contains gadgets an attacker can use for RCE. Read up on why so serial if you're not sure what these libraries are. Now, given these prerequisites, it seems unlikely that a lot of Tomcat apps on the internet are going to be fully exploitable. So far, the claims we've seen about active exploitation only cite a single detection, and it's not clear whether or not the attack was successful, so the reports may be overblown at this time. Our advice to you, keep calm and patch your servers. Until next time.